pirates, summon the heroic spirit Drake at the beginning author, like the wind. Page 171. Impossible. Kizan frowned and said, no matter which pirate group it is, there are weak and strong members. It is impossible for everyone to have super strength. And if each of them has the strength to be able to GHT Lieutenant General Garp, then this, Blue Star, organization. Having said that, Kizan stopped his words, he was not willing to believe the result he thought of. Anyway, we're going to plan for the worst, Kizan. Sengoku looked at Kizan, perhaps only in this way can we achieve the greatest results when we face, Blue Star, and the Drake Pirates. Soon, the rewards for Ziyun and others were sent to all over the world via the Navy, and their name of the Fifth Emperor was also printed on Ziyun's reward list. Ha ha ha. It looks like our cloud has caused the Navy another big loss. Drake on the Golden Deer looked at the newspaper he bought from Newsbird and smiled happily. Everyone, come and see, here is the news about our master. And there is our new bounty list, Musashi. Didn't you say that your bounty is the lowest on their ship? Now it's not. Now, you are now offered a reward of million berries by the Navy, and you are also called the Ewa of Dan Ewan by the Navy, the world's number one female swordsman. Really, Musashi? who was lying listlessly on the table because of Ziyun's absence, immediately, I ran to Drake, and she handed me a bounty list, really, ha ha, I, Miyamoto Musashi, have made a name for myself, he he, a bright smile appeared on Musashi's face, but those three new companions of ours are very remarkable, A. Eh? Drake shook his head, then took out three top picks and said, King of Sin, King of Heroes, Gilgamesh, offering a reward of 15 billion berry, I don't think I'm a pirate, King of Sin, King of Knights Artoria, also 15 billion berry, not a pirate. What is even more frightening is that Semiramis, the navy put a reward of 30 billion berry on her. The king of evil, the queen of Assyria, is suspected to be the king who holds the king of heaven, not a pirate. These are roughly the navy's descriptions of Semiramis. Drake said with a smile, it seems that Semiramis noble fantas shocked the navy people very much. However, those three kings are not pirates, so are they willing to sail with us? Long Wan asked suspiciously from the side. Ha ha, it doesn't matter, if you don't become a pirate. You can wear my clothes. Drake laughed. As long as you are Ziyun's companion, it doesn't matter if you are a pirate or not. As long as we're sailing together, we're valuable companions. That, King of Heroes, I have a certain understanding. Imiya Shiru walked over and said, It's also within my expectation that the arrogant person would not want to become a pirate himself. Speaking of which, I'd rather be a hero than a pirate. Hee <laughs> hee, it's too late for you. The Navy has already conned your identity as a pirate. Even if you don't think so, the world will think so. Li Xiu Wen patted Wai Gong's shoulder and said, Let me show you. Drake handed over the bounty list and the newspaper in his hand. Now all our companions have bounties, and the minimum bounty is, Million Berry. Among the pirate groups in this world, our bounty has nearly reached the top level. Drake, you guy, you actually got a reward of 33 billion berry, which is the highest reward among our group of people. Tsunade looked at Drake's bounty list and said in surprise, Ha ha, thank you Yun for letting me be the captain here. Derek puffed out his chest and said happily, However, the one with the highest reward is indeed the boss. Dao Yun's reward was in odd number, Ziyun, Blue Star, Leader, Blackhead Admiral, FTH, Emperor, 42 billion berry, powerful and cunning. It is extremely dangerous to always have powerful companions by your side. Although there are 40 billion berries, the Navy still underestimates the boss. D or shook the choice in his hand. Page 172. Shan, according to my opinion, the boss's reward should be higher than that of Roger Wang. It's only a matter of time. Drake said condently, as we sail, the world will surely realize how powerful our master is. By then, I'm afraid the Navy will offer a sky-high bounty. Well, today is a happy day. Drake looked at Wai Gong. Wai Gong, please prepare something delicious. It's hard to justify a banquet on such a day. By the way, I want a lot of wine. I see you just want a drink. Imiya patted his forehead. However, anyway, today is indeed worth celebrating. With that said, Imiya turned around and walked towards the kitchen. It's great. I can have another big drink. Tsunade smiled and said, However, it's a pity that Ziyun and Gilgamesh are not here. Otherwise we can drink those knee wines again. Indeed. Drake shook his head. However, they will always come. Now that the Navy's affairs have been dealt with, I believe it won't be long before they return to the Golden Deer. Anyway. Let's start the banquet RST, ha ha, oh, 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 everyone's interest is also high, get up, what are you so happy about? In the cabin of the golden deer, Ziyun came out with Scheherazade and others, Yun, you are nearly back, seeing Ziyun appearing on the golden deer, Drake quickly ran up to Ziyun and gave Ziyun a big hug, feeling Drake's enthusiasm, 
Zi Yun patted Drake's bag lightly. Sorry for keeping everyone waiting. The matter on Dual Island, I drink Scheherazade and they have already dealt with it. The castle also allowed Scheherazade and Semiramis to use magic to set up positions, and I also set up a spiritual sub-transfer position there, around the shifting positions of the spirits in the castle. I asked them to place more magic on them. After all, it is my RST territory in this world, so it should be well protected. That's right. Drake let go. Ziyun, so that other people can also embrace Ziyun, with the magic set by Scheherazade and Semiramis, I believe that the castle can be very safe. If someone thinks we're not there and makes trouble there, then he will be miserable. Tsunade smiled amusedly. At that time, we were still sailing in the distance of Dual Island one second, and appeared in front of the enemies of Dual Island in the next second. Just thinking about the reactions of those people, I end it interesting. Okay, okay, if you have something to say, we can talk about it at the banquet. Emiya shook his head, since Master and other companions are back, in order to celebrate the reunion. We should have a proper banquet. I'm going to prepare the dishes for the banquet now. Let's have a good chat then. You understand very well, Emir. Drake nodded with a smile. Hurry up, we are looking forward to your cooking. Wai Gong nodded, and continued to go to the kitchen, and soon, Wai Gong brought out a series of delicious dishes. At the same time, Ziyan and Gilgamesh took wine from the king's treasure. The joyful atmosphere enveloped the people on the golden deer like this. When Ziyan and his group on the golden deer were holding this banquet, the major powers and powerhouses in the world also received news about Ziyan one after another. Captain, look quickly, the navy has updated Ziyan's bounty. Jesus Buran to Shanks who had not parted with Ziyan and the others for a long time, and handed him a stack of bounties. Now Ziyan is offered a reward of 42 billion berry by the navy, which is even higher than their reward offered by you, Captain. Oh, it was surpassed. Page 173. Shanks supported his head and said, without any dissatisfaction in his heart, because on that dual island, he also saw the strength of Ziyun's companions with his own eyes. Although he had never seen Ziyun make a move, he didn't think that as the leader of an organization, Ziyun would be weak. Little ones, let's hold a banquet for our friend to become the FTH Emperor, and the bounty is higher than mine. The red hair held Ziyun's reward order and counted loudly. Oh, oh, oh. The members of the red hair pirates shouted in unison. Really, is being surpassed by someone worth celebrating? Ben Beckman shook his head, looked at Shanks who picked up the wine and began to drink and said, I think you just want to have a banquet, Shanks. Anyway, I have a certain relationship with Ziyan and the others, and they are also Jesus Boo's benefactors. Of course it's worth celebrating, isn't it? Jesus said, Shanks looked at Jesus' cloth. Certainly, Jesus said with a smile, forget it, it's up to you. As he said that, Ben Beckman also picked up a glass of wine and drank it. Seeing his deputy captain join in, Shanks yelled and started drinking with his companions. The world's number one female swordsman. On a small coffin-like sailboat, the world's number one swordsman with eagle eyes, Mihook, looked at Musashi's reward list with some interest. Interesting, since the navy gave her the title of the world's number one female swordsman, she seems to be a pretty good swordsman. Mihook looked up to the distance of the sea, it seems that the next voyage has a goal. Father, what do you think of this fifth emperor? Marco looked at Whitebeard and said, their rise is a bit too fast. Gulalalala, since they have been able to defeat Garp and the others many times, they must be quite strong. Whitebeard smiled and said, and since I know that guy with red hair, I'll end out by asking red hair when the time comes, gurgling. Mom, are you really going to invite this Ziyun to the tea party? Category looked at his aunt Charlotte lingling in surprise, since that guy is called by the navy, he might not be willing to come to the tea party. The FTH emperor is not so easy to be. The aunt disdainfully said, they were able to defeat Garp and the others, they must have won. By relying on their special weapons, there are photos in the news. Both the Assyrian Empress and Drake have very powerful things. If I can get Zai, I will deniedly be the strongest in the world. Ha ha ha. However, I need to meet the Marest he, so category, I must let them come to my tea party. The dot 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 there are so many women around Ziyun, he must like my daughter to marry him when the time comes. I believe he will not refuse. Ha ha. After Nishing speaking, the aunt had to take a big bite of the cake. Yes, mother, since you have decided. I will arrange for someone to send him the invitation letter for the tea party. Category said to Big Mum, however, they are a little far away from us, so it may take some time. Okay, you go do it. The aunt waved her hand, I want dessert. Yes, mother. Category nodded, walked out of Big Mum's room, and went to arrange the tasks that Big Mum gave him. Ancient weapons, the king of heaven and that Drake's eight. This Drake pirate group really has some good things. The fourth emperor Kaido took a sip of his wine. This kind of thing is only worthy of me and the fifth emperor is just a joke of the navy. When you get to the new world, I will let you know how cruel this world is. Although the newspapers reported that Ziyun and his gang had defeated many masters in their navy including Garp, Kaido, who is very self-content about his own strength, 
is not afraid of, Ziyan and his gang. On the contrary, I very much hope that they will come to the new world as soon as possible, so that I can snatch the treasures owned by Ziyan and his party. Kaido is very envious of Ziyan and others. Precious treasures such as the Vanity's Sky Garden that are displayed to the outside world. Captain, don't we need to go directly to them? Flame Disaster. Page 174. Jin asked Kaido. No, since they can beat Gup and them, no matter whatever the method, they will denightly be able to come to the new world. Kaido took a sip of his wine. The Great Root is not for guys like them to live in, and they will come to us in a short time. It's not too late to clean them up by then. This sea does not need a FTH Emperor. While the world is amazed by the news about Ziyan and his group, the banquet is still going on on the Golden Deer. Sure enough, no matter how many times you drink this kind of wine, it will still taste very good. Soon they'd put down his wine glass and took a deep breath. It's rare for you, Gilgamesh, to produce so much new wine this time. HMPH you can enjoy this short-lived happiness. Gilgamesh took a sip of his wine and said, I'll see what you guys do when it's gone. Ha ha, no. Drake laughed loudly, according to the legend, the great king of heroes collected all their treasures in the world, and there must be plenty of new wine in your treasure. Say yes, Yun. After speaking, Drake turned his head to look at Ziyun. Well, actually, even I don't know how much wine the king's treasure has. Ziyun smiled, although Gilgamesh often said that the number is limited, of course I also believe this. But, to be honest, there are still a lot of them, and if we do it like this, we can still drink it for a while. Oh yeah, I knew it. After Nishing speaking, Derek, who likes to drink, happily kissed Ziyan's cheek hard. In this case, let's take some out. Well, Ziyan touched his face, and with a smile on his face, he took out the new wine of King's treasure again. I want it too, I want it too. Tsunade and Musashi, who also like wine very much, kissed both sides of Ziyan's face at the same time and asked Ziyan to bring out more wine, sure. Ziyan recalled the feeling of being kissed by Tsunade and Musashi, and took out the wine. Again, you guys are serious, since I repeatedly asked my best friend to bring out the wine. Gilgamesh curled his lips, forget it, you can't let your best friend get the wine alone, I'll give you some too. After speaking, some wine barrels appeared behind Gilgamesh. Seeing the extra wine, Drake and the others became even happier. At this moment, a huge shadow enveloped the top of the golden deer. That. What is it? Looking at the huge human-shaped shadow in the sky, Robin said in surprise. I didn't expect our position to be here. Ziyan took a sip of the new wine he took out from the king's treasure. That's Ni. That place is worth visiting. Don't know about that. God is in a lover. Do you know something about those huge shadows? Liu Obing turned to Ziyan and asked. That's just the shadow projected by the residents living on the empty island. Ziyan shook his head. Their real state is about the same size as ordinary people. By the way, if I remember correctly, this should be history there. Ziyan looked at Robin with a smile. Are you interested in going to see it? Really? I want to go. Robin said excitedly. But how are we going to go up? Are we going up by the Sky Garden of Semiramis? Page 175. After speaking, Robin looked at Semiramis who was smiling interestedly at the sky. Actually, if you take the golden deer, you can also go up. But, Ziyan stood up while talking. It's not bad to take. Vanity's Sky Garden, up and it's time for me to show my garden. Your garden. Robin looked at Ziyan suspiciously. Ziyan smiled at Robin, and walked to the bow of the golden deer. Everyone, let's continue the banquet later. Let's go to the empty island RST to have a look. A. Holding two glasses of wine, Musashi looked at Ziyan and said, but, there are still a lot of good wine here. Okay, Musashi, it won't be long before the banquet continues. I plan to welcome some new companions to our place on that empty island and then we can hold a bigger banquet, Ziyan said to Musashi. Besides, you can drink those wines with you, and I don't intend to take them back, ha <laughs> ha, awesome. Musashi heard this, and hastily poured the wine into his wine gourd. Ziyan smiled, turned round, and faced the vast sea. Then, it's time to start. The black coffin of ten and one, activate Vanity's sky garden. Accompanied by Ziyan's chanting, a scene similar to Semiramis releasing the air appeared on the sea surface, and soon, Ziyan's Vanity Garden in the sky, appeared in the eyes of everyone. I didn't expect that such a huge air fortress would have a second one, Robin exclaimed. However, in this way, this courtyard is no longer the ancient weapon, the Heavenly King. The legendary Heavenly King is the only one. Although I don't know what kind of thing that Heavenly King is, I don't think that Ziyan and my Sky Garden will be inferior to that ancient weapon. Semiramis said proudly, the power of Vanity's Sky Garden, I haven't fully utilized it last time. Okay, everyone. Let's all go up. Ziyan turned around and said happily to his companions. Although I know that I have Vanity's Sky Garden, but when I really use it, I am still excited to have such a treasure. At the same time, Ziyan is also looking forward to the treasures facing the city, the Sword of Vowed Victory, 
and the treasures facing the world, the sword of deviation, Ziyun believes that when he uses these treasures, he will nightly be able to make the world eyes popped out. After hearing Ziyun's words, Drake and his party use their own means to board the sky garden. In the end, besides Ziyun, only Robin remained on the golden deer. Looking at the hesitant Robin, Ziyun smiled and stretched out his hand to Robin. Robin raised the corner of his mouth slightly, walked to Ziyun's side, and put his hand on Zhu Yun's. Ziyun held Robin's hand lightly, nodded to her, and used his thoughts to lead Robin to the sky courtyard. After Ziyun and Robin left the golden deer, the golden deer turned into bits of light and dissipated on the sea. No matter how many times you watch it, you will still be surprised. Robin looked down at the disappearing golden hind and said, the golden hind is the strangest ship I've ever seen, it's almost as elusive as you and Semiramis Sky Garden. Ziyun smiled and said, essentially speaking, whether it's the golden deer or vanity's sky garden, they're all of the same kind, a class of things. Robin blinked curiously. Noble phantasm. This is their collective name. Ziyun smiled brought Robin to the ground in the courtyard, and led her towards the companions who came here rst. Then, everyone, it will take off quickly after adding it. Ziyun turned his head and looked at Robin beside him, when we arrive at Sky Island in a while, there may be some discomfort caused by the air pressure, so be prepared. After seeing Robin nodding his head, Ziyun controlled the sky courtyard to go up quickly. Soon, the appearance or Sky Island appeared in front of everyone. That dot 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 is, Inalu, who was closing his eyes and recuperating in the palace on the empty island opened his eyes, that feeling is the one I felt last time. The island. Page 176. 147. Is this the empty island? Robin looked at the island suspended above the white clouds in surprise. I didn't expect the legendary Sky Island to actually exist. It's really good. Drake said with a smile on his face, when sailing on the seas of this world, you can always meet something interesting. Islands in this world do always have some special existence. Ziyun smiled and said, however, how long do you have to watch that old man over there, riding a ying horse? Not far from the sky garden, an old man in armor riding a pegasus is quietly staying at the side of the sky garden. Hearing Ziyun's words, the old man thought for a while, then you towards Ziyun's direction. Hello, I am a knight from this empty island, and my name is Ganva. Get off the horse, Ganva, who was standing on the ground in the sky garden, looked at Ziyun and his party and said, I am a knight who is willing to help out as long as I pay a certain amount of reward that, can I, ask what you plan to do here? Ziyun listened to Ganvo's words, smiled, and did not answer his question, but looked towards, the distance of Sky Island. There, there is a bolt of lightning rapidly approaching the courtyard in the air. Soon, the lightning came to the top of the Sky Garden, forming a human form. It's really a nice island. Such an island can only be controlled by gods. Mortals don't deserve such treasures. The Gyur looked at Ziyun who was standing in front of the crowd, mortal, although I don't know what your purpose is for coming to this empty island but immediately, leave the island beneath your feet. This island belongs to me, God, Anelu. Ganva stared at the gear above him in shock. God, he he. Ziyun smiled, stretched out his right index ninja and pointed at Ai Nilu. Um, Inalu looked at Ziyun's movements and frowned. When he was talking, Ziyun's index ninja began to shine brightly. Laser, following Ziyun's words, a golden ray shot from Ziyun's eclipse towards Inalu, and it came to him in a blink of an eye. This is, the leisurely Inalu didn't have time to react. He was shot straight by the golden ray, and a violent explosion occurred at the place where Anilu was. This this, Gamfa looked at the explosion with his mouth wide open, what are you doing? He is a god, and his power is absolute. Run quickly, although I don't know if it will be useful, but at least if you run away, you still have hope of living. If you continue to stay here, all of you will be killed by the god Anil. No, he can't escape. Without Gamfa's knowledge, Anil escaped from the explosion and came to Ziyun's side. It's disrespectful to attack me, for a mortal like you. A verdict must be given. Anilu raised his palm to face Ziyun, and intense lightning ashed in it. One volt, Da wife. Following Aini's words, from his palm, a strong thunderlight rushed towards Ziyun. Facing the attack of Aa Nilu, Ziyun Dendon shot a more powerful laser at Aa Nilu. Page 177. Inalo's electric light was instantly extinguished by Yun's laser, and the laser rushed towards Inalo. With undiminished power, Inalu was covered by the explosion again, and his gear couldn't help but fall backwards falling into Ziyun's sky garden. It's impolite to come uninvited. Turning into a golden light, Ziyun appeared next to the steadigure of Ai Nilu and said, you are not allowed to stand in my courtyard without my permission. The guy named Enl, you bastard. Ai Nilu stared at Ziyun beside him in shock, although he was blown away by Ziyun's attack because of his carelessness, but his mind clearly saw how Ziyun moved to his side. That kind of speed, even if compared with the speed of my own incarnation as lightning, it is not much slower. How dare you attack me again? You have angered me. Inalu looked at Ziyun gloomily, and stretched out the golden stick in his hand towards the sky. With his movements, violent lightning began to appear in the sky. Soon, 
a huge bolt of lightning struck Ziyun straight. Ha ha ha, so what if your speed is fast? Seeing Ziyun being attacked by his own lightning, Anilu laughed and said, no matter how fast you are, you can't be faster than lightning. Yes, Ziyun's voice came from the continuous thunder column. Um, Anilu looked in Uzu's direction with a little surprise. I wanted to experience the strength of your lightning, but it turned out to be really disappointing. Ziyun shook his head and slowly you out from the thunder column. The ability of the thunder fruit, it seems that you haven't developed it very well. As for speed, Ziyun raised his mouth slightly, the speed of light is no worse than that of lightning. After speaking, Ziyun took a sword of light and turned it into a bolt of lightning, and rushed towards Inalo. Um, seeing that Ziyun, whose speed was comparable to his own when he was ying with all his strength, rushed towards him, Inalo was shocked, but also reacted quickly turning into a bolt of lightning and rushing towards Ziyun. Although his attack just now didn't have any effect on Ziyun, but Inalo only thought that his lightning volts were not enough, so when he saw Ziyun initiate the attack, his self-esteem made him also rush towards Ziyun. Soon, strong golden lights and blue lightning ashes began to appear above the sky island, and there would be violent roars. That's God, and God is angry. Seeing the violent blue lightning in the sky, the residents of the empty island knelt on the ground, in fear, praying to Anilu together hoping that Anilu can take back his anger. Aisha, use your mind to see who is getting Anilu. In a part of Sky Island, Weber stared at the golden light and lightning in the sky and asked Aisha. Already watching, Weber, Aisha trembled and said, It's amazing, there is a man with golden light getting with Enl, and, he is chasing Enl. They're all so fast, I can't see them clearly. Either way, this is arguably our opportunity. Weber clenched his SD tightly, that guy Enelo has occupied our ancestors' land for so long. Now is the time for us to take back our land. Everyone hurry up and get ready. While Anilu is getting with others, we have to quickly take back what belongs to us. Hearing what Weber said, the Sandia warriors moved quickly. Damn guy. Looking at Ziyun who was chasing after him and swinging his sword, in a Luke cursed tersely. After getting in touch with Ziyun for a while, he found that the lightning that was always invincible before had no effect on this guy at all. Each of his own attacks can be neutralized or dodged by him with lasers. Instead, it's his lightsaber, which gives him some pain with every swing. Although he didn't suffer serious injuries, just making him feel pain already made Enel very dissatisfied. One volt Trellon. Leaping forward, Anilu slammed the big drums on his shoulders, and a large number of thunder and lightning emerged from the drums, forming a huge thunder dragon and rushing towards Zuyun behind Anilu. Page 178. Facing the huge thunder dragon, Ziyun smiled and scattered the lightsaber in his hand. A piece of mirror-like light was accumulated in the hands forming a track of light towards the side of Inalo, Yatagara mirror. Following Ziyun's voice, he turned into particles of light and walked to Inalo's side. When Inalo RST noticed it, Ziyun's legs were already placed next to Inalo's head. It seems that I am the stronger one in terms of ability development, Enl. Ziyun smiled faintly, it's also light, but my speed is much faster than yours, haha. <laughs> so, have you ever been kicked by the speed of light, Enl? After Nishing speaking, Ziyun's leg emitted a strong light and suddenly kicked Inalu's head. Anilu was kicked instantly and drew backwards. Sure enough, light can touch lightning. Seeing Inalu being kicked away, Ziyun rubbed his chin and thought, You piss me off completely, mortal. Inalu, who was kicked by Ziyun on the empty island, stood up with blood on his lips. Surrounding him, the residents on the empty island had already opened their mouths in shock. From Inalu who suddenly fell to the ground and made a big hole. They never thought that Enl, the god of Sky Island, would be beaten until he vomited blood. 200 million volts Thor, enraged in his heart. Anilu released all the lightning from his body, surrounded him, and turned into a huge thunder god, rushing towards Ziyun. He wanted to use all his thunder and lightning to punish Ziyun, who dared to disobey him. It's boring, after all, it's only at this level. Ziyun shook his head and thought to himself, if I didn't want to use you to practice swords, I would have been able to kill you directly with magic power from the very beginning. That's it. Ziyun crossed his hands, strong rays of light emanated from his body as if a new sun had appeared in the sky. This eight-foot Kyungu is fused with the magic power that can hurt the body of the natural system. Enjoy it, Inalo. After Nishing speaking, a large number of golden light bombs blasted Inalo's huge thunder body. Boom, boom, boom. Ziyun accurately controlled the direction of the light bullets, and they all bombarded Inalo's body. Continuous violent explosions in Enero's Thor burst up. The eight-foot Kyungu, which contains magical power, quickly weakened Inalo's thunder god, and soon, the lightning surrounding Inalo dissipated in the air, but Ziyun's eight-foot Kyungui didn't end. A large number of light bullets continued to bombard the stupid Inalo, deeply embedding him in the depths of the ground. Ziyun dissipated the shape of the eight-foot Kyungui, and landed gently on the ground. Looking at Ai who was lying on the ground without any breath of life, Yun shook his head. If you weren't so content in your own strength, you wouldn't have died so easily. 
Ainulu, forget it, since an ill road has been resolved, no one dares to stop us on this empty island, let's go back. Ziyan stretched his waist, ignored the Sky Island residents kneeling towards him, and you towards his sky garden. Why Bo, Enlu was killed by that? God. Beside Weber, Aisha told Weber what she saw in surprise. The scene. At this time, Weber and the others were not even ready to attack their ancestors' territory. What? Enlu has been killed. Weber stopped what he was doing, turned to Aisha and asked. Is this true? Where did Aisha and that mysterious person go? Really, I can't feel Enlu's heartbeat anymore. Aisha said, and that mysterious person you towards the awaiting island that took them to their empty island. That's it. Why Bo suppressed the excitement in his heart and whispered. Everyone, now. Enl is dead. Page 179. Now, let's rush to our hometown with me. Weber turned around and shouted at his companion behind him. Weber's companions immediately shouted and agreed with Weber's opinion. Soon, after nishing his preparations, Weber rushed towards their hometown Sandia with his companions. Who the hell are you? After returning to Vanity's Sky Garden, Ganva stared at Ziyan in surprise and asked. Although he didn't see the battle between Ziyan and Ainulu clearly, but now Ziyan came back safely without a single wound on his body. And there was no trace of lightning in the sky, which was enough to show that Ziyan had won. Ziyan smiled and looked at Ganfa. You said, I killed that, Inalo, so am I the master of this empty island now? Hearing Ziyan's words, Ganfa's eyes widened, although he thought that Ziyan had defeated Anilu. He never thought that Anilu would be killed by him. And when Ziyan said that he wanted to be the new owner of the Sky Island, he couldn't help worrying that Ziyan would rule the Sky Island with fear like Inalo did. Seeing Ganfa who was in deep thought, Ziyan shook his head, and walked towards the remaining three people including Scheherazade, Minamoto Reimitsu and Robin on the sky courtyard. The others have already gone to the empty island. When he was getting with Inalo, Ziyan had already seen Drake and others walking on to their sky island, and now he was not surprised to see that there were only three people left in the sky garden. Scheherazade, like Wang, you geese should go shopping too. I'll take Robin to see history and be back soon. Seeing that Scheherazade and Minamoto Reimitsu agreed, Ziyan took Robin's hand and rushed into the sky, ying towards the highest point of Sky Island. After seeing Ziyan and Robin ying away, Yuan Laguan turned his head to look at Ganva. Your name is Ganva, right? Now we are going to the empty island, and you still want to stay alone in my cloud is it in the sky garden? Hearing Minamoto's unkind words, Ganva came back to his senses and watched Minamoto wave his hands again and again, riding on his beloved horse. He you away from the courtyard in the air and headed towards the town on the empty island. He wanted to see what happened to the residents of the island after the battle between Ziyan and Enilu. Come on, let's go shopping too. Scheherazade walked up to Minamoto Reimitsu and said. Minamoto Reimiko nodded, and followed Scheherazade to the empty island, but in her heart, she actually didn't want to go. With all his companions leaving the Sky Garden, Minamoto Reimitsu is more like guarding their Sky Garden to prevent strangers from landing here. However, under the words of Ziyan asking her to visit the empty island, she still kept up with Scheherazade. But even so, Minamoto Reimitsu did not intend to leave the Sky Garden too far away. She intends to keep an eye on the situation on the island, and once someone lands in the Sky Garden without authorization, she will deal a devastating blow. 17th Chapter, Rain, Subscription Required That's it. At the highest point of Sky Island, Ziyan and Robin landed in front of a historical text. Here, there really is history. Robin stepped forward and stroked the historical stone tablet and said in surprise, Thank you for bringing me to this place. Robin turned around and hugged Ziyan gently. If I hadn't met you, I might have died. Now, you not only saved me, but also gave me the opportunity to read history. Really, really thank you, Ziyan. We've been together for so long. Don't say such outrageous things, Robin. Ziyan patted Robin on the back. Besides, didn't I say that I'm also very interested in history? Okay, Robin, you can watch here now. I need to deal with something now. Ziyan opened lightly. Robin, a group of people have come here. I'll go talk to them. After a while, I'll come back and pick you up. After seeing Robin nodding, Ziyan used his telekinetic power to wide towards the place where he sensed the crowd. Seeing Ziyan leave, Robin turned and walked into history, and began to read. Ziyan, who was Ying, soon arrived at the golden city of Shandora on the empty island, where the Sandians were getting with Enel's men. Although the news of Enel's death, Enel's subordinates already knew about it. But this does not mean that they allow these Sandias to break in here, after all, the gold here makes them very jealous. On the other hand, for these soldiers who prevented them from entering their hometown, there, Sandia also rose up and launched an attack. In the absence of Enl, the vicious Sandias are not afraid of these priests and soldiers. Page 180. And when they were getting in full swing, Ziyan landed in the middle of the two groups of people with a golden light. Everyone, can you stop getting in my territory? Ziyan raised the light ball in his hand and said, if you must GHT, you can GHT with me. You are the one who defeated Inalo. Seeing the golden light on Ziyan's body, 
Waibo said in surprise, his body tensed up instantly, and he became alert. When Ainilu's subordinates saw Ziyun, they also stopped acting instantly, and looked at Ziyun in horror. In their impression, their master Ainil is a symbol of invincibility, but Ziyun defeated Ainil, and his body was not injured at all. For Ziyun like this, they didn't dare to act rashly. Hello, new god, we have no malice against you. The four gods of Inalu knelt down to Ziyun on one knee. We just don't want these sand ears to invade your territory. Interesting. Ever since Ziyun saw him, he threw a large amount of gold at the soldiers of Inalu who were paying in the distance. Soon, a violent explosion erupted not far from Zut, and a violent gust of wind blew from there. Explosion to the people who were still at the scene. Take those treasures and leave without authorization, and also protect my territory. Besides, did I say that I will be your new god? Ziyun looked at the priests with a teasing smile and said that. Those who took you without authorization are just guys who are not our M. A divine light immediately said, Besides, since you defeated the previous god, you are naturally the new god. We would like to offer you our loyalty. Honest. Never mind. Ziyun shook his head. You four guys, you should have done a lot of good things following Inalo for so many years. Right. Now that Enel is dead, you should go with him. After speaking, Ziyun pointed his ninjas at the priests and the tip of his index ninja began to emit golden light, and many more. The priests wanted to say something, but before they could say it in time, a golden ray shot out from Ziyun's hand. The ray is divided into four parts in the air, instantly penetrating the hearts of the four priests. Seeing that his four chiefs were instantly killed by Ziyun, all the other soldiers of Inal Road fell to their knees and put their heads deeply on the ground, hoping that Ziyun would not kill them. Get out of here, and all subordinates, as long as you admit that I am the master of this empty island and don't cause trouble for me on the empty island, I don't have to kill you. Looking at the remaining soldiers in an ill road, Ziyun said lightly. Hearing Ziyun's words, the soldiers all thanked Ziyun. After seeing Ziyun waving his hand to let them leave, the soldiers immediately ran to their distance, hoping to get away from this dangerous person Ziyun as soon as possible. So, what are your plans? Ziyun looked at Weber and the others, I want to plant my egg on this empty island. What's your opinion? This is the hometown of Arshandia. Looking at Ziyun, Weibo said with a serious face. Weber, don't. Weber's partner, Braham hurriedly grabbed Weber. Weibo waved his hand, broke away from his companion's hand, looked at Ziyun and continued, No matter how strong you are, we will not give up this island to you. As he spoke, Weber assumed an offensive posture. Even if I don't stop you from living in the land under your feet, do you still want to GHT me? Ziyun said with a smile. What? Weber's eyes widened. What do you mean? Analu has occupied this land, and you are not allowed to come here. But I'm different. Ziyun shook his head. As long as you accept my rule, you can live here. Of course. The treasure here belongs to me. If you like this audiobook, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. And join my Patreon if you want to support me, where you can find advanced audiobooks that hasn't been uploaded on YouTube till now. Leave some comment and let me know if you guys like this story or you have a web novel you like and want to hear its audiobook, I will be happy to create them for you. Please like, share, and leave a comment on the video.